to stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, Mr. Brennan. Honorable Mayor Ron Shaver. Here. Council Member Dan Marler. He's uh, excused in this evening. Christine Casto. Here. Allison Howe. Here. Clint Anderson. Here. Lisa Northrup. Here. Kevin Lindell. Here. Okay, first on our agenda this evening is approval of the minutes of our January 2nd, 2018, or 218 uh, council regular meeting. Mr. Brennan. Thank you, Your Honor. A uh, draft copy of the minutes of the January 2nd meeting were included in your packet and they are presented for your approval by resolution. Has everybody had a chance to review the minutes? Any yep. questions or revisions? If not, I'd entertain a resolution. Your Honor, I offer a resolution approving the minutes from the January 2nd, 2008 City Council meeting. Second. A resolution by Allison Howe, a second by Lisa Northrup. Vote by roll call. <laughs> That resolution carries unanimously on a vote of six to zero with council member Marler absent. Next, we'll have comments from our outgoing council member, Christine Castello. Uh, okay. I would just like to take this time to thank everyone that has helped me get here and that has supported me through this. And there are too many names to mention. So I would just like to, at this time, tell everybody thank you and good luck in the future. Thank you. It's been a pleasure Thank you. serving with you and wish you the best oh, to yes. come. Thank you. We'll see you around. So. Next is Judge Brandenburg will square me or at me or in. <laughs> <laughs> I, Ron Schaefer, do solemnly swear or affirm that I will support the Constitution, the laws of the United States and of the State of Colorado, the Charter and Ordinances of the City of Fort Morgan, that I will faithfully perform all the duties pertaining to the office of the mayor of the city of Fort Morgan, Colorado. To the office of the city of Fort Morgan. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Best of my ability. All right. Thank you. Next, I will swear in council members Kevin Lindell, Allison Howe, and Douglas Sashow. And where will you do this at? Right up there? Out here? Okay. okay. after me. I state your name. Do solemnly swear and affirm that I will support the Constitution, the laws of the United States and the state of Colorado, the charter and ordinances of City of Fort Morgan, 
<laughs> and I will faithfully perform all the duties pertaining to the office of council member of wards one, two, and three. <laughs> there you go. Of the city of Fort Morgan, Colorado, to the best of my ability. late to change your mind now. Yep. <laughs> A lot scarier on this side. <laughs> Roll call, Mr. Brennan. Honorable Mayor Ron Shaver. Here. Council Member Dan Marler. Absent. Doug Shasso. Here. Allison Howe. Present. Clint Anderson. Here. Lisa Northrup. Here. Kevin Lindell. Present. Okay, with the new council, we'll give the incoming members a, a chance to, an opportunity to make a few comments. Mr. Lindell. Uh, as I guess most of you know, this is my second term, and I want to thank everybody that uh, all of the constituents and uh, people in Ward 3 that put me back in here. And the reason that I ran again is I'm really positive about the direction the city's going in and what the uh, council is doing you know we're putting in the new fiber and broadband and uh, working on water and I'm just think that it's going in the right direction and so I still wanted to be a part of that and want to thank everybody okay. Allison um, yes I want to say thank you for the supporters in Ward 2 I love Ward 2 um, when we first moved here we had talked about being here for three years it was our three-year plan and we're on year eight of our three-year plan because we love the community of Fort Morgan. Um, I especially love um, working with the staff, so I've been on council for a little over a year. I'm finishing up a former council member's term, and um, I'm really impressed, and I love supporting the staff and the innovation that they have and the um, level of customer service that they have for our citizens. So I look forward to the next four years serving um, as council member from Ward 2. Oh. First off, I'd like to thank Christine. Um, second off, I'd like to thank the people of Ward 1 for um, their support and getting me this far. And second of all, I'd like to thank my, um, my wife, my two children, Jeff and Lizzie, and my son-in-law, Jeff, or uh, Levi, for um, uh, supporting me in this decision. Um, third off, I'd like to thank everybody for all the kind words and support that um, they gave me in, on my Facebook page. It was awesome. I really appreciate that. And uh, I can't wait to continue my service with um, everybody here at Fort Morgan. And uh, last but not least, my department. Thank you. Well, speaking of your department, today is National Peace Officers Day and without your prior service, service of you, uh, peace officers. That's what keeps our community safe and vibrant the way it is and keeps people like Allison hanging around. And for me personally and council and in general, thank you for what you do and we greatly appreciate the time and effort you put into keeping our community safe as well as the first responders, Jeff. So, thank you.
Okay, now we'll do appointments of the various uh, city boards and commissions. And Mr. Marler's not here, so Clint and I informed him he will get whatever we don't want. That's <laughs> uh, Currently, we have the advisory, airport advisory board. I have served on that, um, and I would continue to serve on that. If there's anybody else that would like to be a part of that, they meet the second Wednesday of the month at noon out at the airport. Um, so if you, if any council member has an interest in that, I would be more than happy to if you would join us on that one. CML Policy Review Committee, Mr. Wells takes care of that one, which is part of the Colorado Municipal League uh, Policy Review, and we'll leave him on, on there. And then there's two of them by charter that mandate, they're either by ordinance or state statute that the sitting mayor sits on those and that's the <coughs> fireman's pension board and the police pension board so i will still be retaining those fort morgan ditch company brent nation attends they meet once a year for a board meeting and brent <coughs> has been doing that we will just let him continue to do that and vote the city's uh, shares the Fort Morgan Heritage Foundation, Kevin has sat on that one, and I believe he wishes to remain. And you're also on the golf advisory and wish to keep that one. And the Historic Preservation Board, Clint, is on. Library Advisory Board, Christine, was on that. Um, is there any preference on that, Allison? Um, um, are there meetings in the evening? I'm not sure what their meetings. Do we, Brittany? Are there any? <clears throat> so yeah, that would be a challenge for me. Okay, that's fine. Um, if we don't have anybody else, I, I can take that as well. I can do a 4:30. Would that work mm -hmm. on you for you? Okay, I will put Lisa for the library. <laughs> Morgan County Tourism Board, I believe Jen Elric has been sitting on that and keep staff taking care of that. Uh, senior Advisory Board is Allison Howe. You wish to remain on? I adore that, that one. yeah, let's, let's keep that one. Investment Committee. Um, Christine was also on that one. And would you like to sit on that sit one on with that. me? Absolutely. Okay. No, thank you. <laughs> um, Water Advisory Board is Dan Marler, and they meet as needed. And then we will have, be having a youth advisory council, that, but it won't uh, get geared up until all the irons are out of the fire, which is probably gonna be the, sometime in the fall. And I believe Dan Marler wanted that one. No way. I'll, I'll take that one. You want that one? I'll take that one. Hey, I dibsed it. <laughs> okay. Can we have, can we have two? Make them both. Thumb, thumb war? It's rock, paper, scissors. Well, this is one we won't have to make a decision until it's actually set up. So in the meantime, the two Ward 2 council members can... Uh, Duke it out. Yeah. <laughs> to be determined. So with that, we have that portion taken care of. Next is a presentation and possible action on a resolution confirming the appointments of the city manager, city attorney, municipal judge, and deputy ju municipal judge 
affirming the designation of the acting city manager and approving extension of the contracts with the city manager and municipal judge. I didn't see the contracts on our packets. Oh, they weren't in there? Is yours changed, Dennis? Still the same. Okay. <laughs> Nothing's changed. Uh, so for your consideration tonight, uh, Council, we have um, a resolution uh, confirming all the appointed officials, um, which is our municipal court judge, Dennis Brandenburg, city attorney, Jason Myers, city manager, Jeff Wells, acting city manager, John Brennan, and uh, I think we do the fire chief separately uh, coming up in just a minute. So uh, the, the deputy judge is Kelly Hansen. Oh, and the deputy judge, Kelly Hansen. Yeah. So upon passage of this resolution, you'll appoint all of the officials under the charter for the city of Fort Morgan. Okay. I would entertain a resolution accepting. Your Honor, I would offer a resolution confirming the appointment of the city manager, city attorney, municipal judge, and deputy municipal judge, judge affirming and designation of the acting city manager and approving extensions to the contracts for both the city manager and the municipal judge. Second. I have a resolution by Lisa Northrup and a second by Allison Howell. Vote by roll call. That resolution carries unanimously. Next is a presentation and possible action on a resolution affirming the vote of the fire department and ratifying the appointment of Mark Frasco as fire chief. Mr. Wells? Yes. <clears throat> this is uh, an interesting aspect to the charter of the city of Fort Morgan. The uh, fire chief is elected by the volunteers because we have a volunteer fire department. And then the council has the authority to ratify that and accept the selection of the uh, volunteer firefighters. Um, and we recommend that because we want to keep the volunteer firefighters happy. They do a great job for us. And so uh, in this last election, um, Chief Frasco was reelected to that position. And upon passage of this resolution, he would assume that role, uh, ratification of that appointment by the um, volunteer fire department. And I think he's w you're willing to accept still, right? Okay. Oh, there he is hiding in the back. He's hiding in the back. <laughs> oh, wait, this is an Otho office. This is for you, right? Yes. You got to do the vote and then the yeah. Yeah. vote on him. Yeah. Vote and then and then swear at it. Swear me. I might say no. <laughs> oh, it is a resolution. I would offer or accept or. Your Honor, I would offer a resolution affirming the vote of the fire department and ratifying the appointment of Mark Fresco as fire chief. Second. I have a resolution by Lisa Northrup and a second by Clint Anderson. Vote by roll call. That resolution carries unanimously. I guess you get it, Mark. I was trying to rush you through. <laughs> Do solemnly swear and or affirm that I will support the Constitution, laws of the United States and State of Colorado, the Charter and Ordinances of the City of Fort Morgan, and that I will faithfully perform all the duties pertaining to the Chief Fire Chief of the City of Fort Morgan the best of my abilities. <laughs> that one got me. I think we only did this every two years. Yeah. <laughs> Next is a presentation of council communication memos for from appointed officials. 
City Manager, City Attorney, and the Fire Chief. So this is pretty standard. It's uh, we're required to prepare memos uh, communicating with council on how communication will work with uh, those within under the city manager, city attorney, and, and the fire chief. Um, my memo usually doesn't change much except for the date. Every two years, it follows the rules of procedure that were adopted by city council, and uh, basically, uh, I, I expect obviously that the uh, employees will always treat uh, council with respect and answer your questions and and help you out to the best of their ability and um, if you have issues that you need addressed uh, you can come to me and and uh, we can get those resolved and then we try and do that within the framework that has been adopted by council uh, for the efficient operations of the city so uh, if you have any questions about the memo you can ask me Yeah, I guess my turn. <laughs> I'll echo much of what Jeff has, has said. Um, the memo hasn't changed from last year other than the date. Uh, just as a friendly reminder that Jeff still serves as of counsel, so in those instances where you're not able to reach me directly with a legal issue, uh, he's still able to handle those in my absence, and then we get together and, and resolve those for counsel. City Attorney's Office, there's only one other attorney but, or other um, employee beside myself, so... You're welcome to say hi to Amanda, and if you have any needs, um, you can ask her those things, and the memo is pretty straightforward. Thank you. Mark? <coughs> Got a couple pages here, so I'll take you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> again, my memo is the same, too. I uh, will support everything you guys wish, and if you have any issues, uh, please contact me. Have my cell phone or email anyway, and we will. Fire department will support any decisions you need, or you questions you have, or decisions you make. Okay. Next is a presentation of possible action on a resolution designating the city's official posting site for the posting notices of meetings as required under the Colorado Open Meetings Law. Mr. Brennan. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, this one and the next one as well are uh, kind of housekeeping things that we do every year. Um, this one just designates where we'll post official notice of public meetings, and that has always been the uh, billboard or the bulletin board in the uh, lobby downstairs here at City Hall, and it designates the Fort Morgan Times as the newspaper of record to be used for legal publications. Any questions? None? I'd entertain a resolution. Your Honor, I offer a resolution designating the city's official posting site for posting notices of meetings as required under the Colorado Open Meetings Law. Second. For a resolution by Allison Howell, second by Lisa Northrup. <coughs> open roll call. That resolution carries unanimously. Next is presentation of possible action on a resolution concerning the establishment and operating of city bank accounts. Ms. Kenny. Good evening, uh, Mayor and Council. Uh, the resolution that you have before you is just a combination of five other banking resolutions that we had. Um, both Jason and John want to be put it all in one instead of having you know, be up here five times. As an accountant, I don't get to come up here much, so I wanted to keep it. No, <laughs> just kidding. Um, but anyway, the, uh, the stuff before, the only one thing that changed, everything is just smushed together into one resolution, and the only thing that really changed is we did remove um, uh, Connie Musgrave from the safe deposit box because since she no longer handles the cash of utility billing, we didn't need her on there. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, everything is just like it was in the ones you saw last year. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Would entertain a resolution? Your Honor, I offer resolution concerning the establishment and operation of the city bank accounts. Second. I have a resolution by Lisa Northrop and a second by Allison Howe. Vote by roll call. That resolution carries unanimously. That's about the end of the agenda.
agenda items for this week's council meeting. Uh, there's no other business before the council. We're adjourned.